A short time ago, it was announced that Sons of Anarchy star Charlie Hunnam was going to star in the upcoming adaptation of the popular E.L. James book, Fifty Shades of Grey. The film is set to hit AMC theaters in August. However, it appears there's been a major change of plans. This weekend, Universal Studios announced that Hunnam would no longer be starring in the film, saying the following. The filmmakers of Fifty Shades of Grey and Charlie Hunnam have agreed to find another male lead given Hunnam's immersed TV schedule, which is not allowing him time to adequately prepare for the role of Christian Grey. The film is set to star Dakota Johnson as the female lead in the film. Johnson is the daughter of actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith. So, John, what do you make of the departure of Charlie Hunnam for Fifty Shades of Grey? <laughs> I, I don't know how <laughs> stupid the people uh, over the studio think we are by putting out this uh, thing. Okay, so you, you want me to believe this, that Charlie Hunnam and his army of managers, agents, and publicists, when they went to him and said, hey, we're gonna make this Fifty Shades of Grey movie, uh, do you wanna be in it? None of them, none of them, none of that army of support staff thought, let's check his schedule. <laughs> let's see if he's available. Nobody did. So they said, sure, we'll do it. We'll sign him up and Charlie's like, I'm gonna be in Fifty Shades of Grey. That's awesome. And then this past weekend, he just stumbled across his, you know, his calendar book. He's like, Crap, I totally forgot I got this other show I'm doing. I got to back out. Give me a break. This is exactly what happened. And of course, I have nothing to back this up with. I have no proof whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you exactly how I believe this worked out. I don't think anybody expected this much negative backlash <laughs> to Charlie being there. Because it was everybody. It was Charlie's fans hated this move. They didn't want him to be in Fifty Shades of Grey. And the Fifty Shades of Grey fans didn't want him to be in it. Nobody liked this idea. And I'm a Charlie Hunnam fan. So don't give me this. Just just say, look, so, so, well, I, I mean, really, I guess to be fair, what else is the studio supposed to say? We realize we made a mistake. Charlie also agrees we made a mistake. No. They're saying, oh, there's a schedule conflict with his very, very busy TV schedule. No, no, don't insult our intelligence. I don't think they were prepared. Unlike the Ben Affleck with Batman thing, where they were all fully prepared and they knew what the backlash was going to be, be and they made their decisions appropriately, I don't think they anticipated just how negative and how wide the negative reaction would be to him, both from his own fans and from the fans of the subject matter. And they decided, you know what, we've got a few months before we start shooting, let's back out of this. So I don't know, Dennis, am I, am I creating my own reality here? Do you agree with me, disagree, what do you think? No, you're right on the ball. It's, it's a mutual separation too. It's not yeah. one, one or the other. I agree. I think, I think uh, they weren't prepared on the studio side or him himself. He, he probably saw and read some of these comments some of the <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey fans were saying and he was like, um, I don't want to be under this scrutiny. He, you know, he's doing well with the with his hit TV show, which, you know, yeah, he forgot about that he was gonna- <laughs> Wait a minute, I <laughs> forgot. Yeah, um, and you know, and he, he's gonna try and start a, a movie career, you know, Pacific Rim uh, internationally did okay, uh, didn't do that well domestically, but I'm sure he wants to further that, that progress along. I yeah. think Fifty Shades of Grey is not the right step for him. And so he, I think he realized that and the studio realized that his casting wasn't gonna help it. So yeah, I, I, I think this is a mutual thing. I agree, Schnepp. I think, yeah, it's like Jax in bondage. You know, it's like <laughs> no one really saw that. And, like, he's so burned in as Jax. Like, even Pacific Rim, it was like, oh, Jax is in a robot. You know, yeah. so it's like he's going to have to, like, either go back to his English accent or, like, dye his hair when he does another movie. And, I, you know, him backing out, this is the Hollywood way to back out of a project. Scheduling conflict. Sure. I mean, we see it all the time, you know. Yeah. Usually people don't just be like, man, I just straight up quit. So, Chris Lee, there are four people in this room. Um, <laughs> one of them is really looking forward to the Fifty Shades of Grey movie, and that one is you. Uh, what you and you're a big Sons of Anarchy fan, too. Huge. So what did you think when you heard that Hunnam backed out? I was super excited. I do like Fifty Shades of Grey, and I'm super excited about the movie because they're not going to be able to focus on the sex, sadly, but they will be able to focus on the story, which is what I loved about the book. But I love Charlie. I love Sons of Anarchy, and I'm actually really excited that he stepped away. So... Who's gonna be the next Christian Grey? I'm excited. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.